What's up guys, I'm Tila Dunn and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? It's Daniel here with Tila Dunn. What's going on? Hello, thank you for having me. How are you? Dude, I'm so good. Let's play a game. Okay, I All love right. games. Never have I ever. Oh, so fun. Yeah, let's do it. Never have I ever flirted with a co-star. Oh my God, absolutely. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of kissing in Crush is one of the reasons why I'm asking that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But no. <laughs> Tyler, my co-star, is gay we love him so but we do we do you know what's funny he is one of my best friends i love him to pieces and we literally hang out all the time and still kiss like everywhere we go like we literally were at uh we were in weho just a couple nights ago and we're like making out and people are like oh my god you guys are actually because people loved crush and they're like oh my god you guys are actually together and we're, he's like no i just love her like that's our full relationship now anytime we see each other we just kiss each other that's our love amazing. language. <laughs> <laughs> well, never have I ever stood someone up. Never. Never? Never. Never have I ever stalked an ex on social media. Oh, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> of course. Everyone does that. Yeah, I find myself doing it all right. the time. You know, but then, but then you go down the hole where you're like, all of a sudden you're on their cousin's page and their cousin's cousin's page. And I'm like, okay, I need to get out. Then you accidentally like, like the grandma. No. That's when you know you got to just abort the mission. Yeah. Have you ever had like, accidentally liked a picture that was like way far down. Yes. And then it's like, wait, this and is from 2019. It's ah! the worst. It's the worst. Yeah, I've definitely done that multiple <laughs> times. Back in the day though, I've changed. Okay, well, we have so much to talk about. So like, much. You do so many things. It is true, I wear a lot of hats. Yeah, a lot of hats. <laughs> Acting, podcasting, your skincare line. How do you yep. have any time to do all this stuff? That's a great question. I'm not sure. Um, I think I have a very type A personality. So like my mind is like, an organization Ben and I'm like okay once I do this I do that I do this then I'll be able to do that 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 and like that's just how I've been wired since I was like six years old so I like to still make time for my friends and my family of course because life is all about balance but I always make sure all my work is done before I do anything fun anonymously yours the podcast yes before you came in here I was like okay let me listen to the podcast before everybody's got a podcast but yours is interesting though how did the concept of this with stories from fans coming up I love my viewers more than anything, and they know um, I used to have this thing on my IGTV. Well, back when IGTV was a thing, now it's more reels, but I used to have this thing on my Instagram where it was called Fridays with Tea, and I would allow my fans to send me anonymous stories that usually were pretty crazy, whether they wanted advice or just like whatever tea they had, and I would do it anonymously, and so then every single week I would have these crazy stories, it was so fun, and I was like, then I stopped doing it for like a year, and I was like, oh, I missed that, and so then I got this Spotify podcast um, a while back with my friend and it was fun it was cute but that was audio only and fans weren't really able to send in any questions or really be involved with it they just kind of listened and that was that and I was like okay the next podcast I do I really want to include my viewers and make sure that they're like fully involved with the show and then the idea of anonymously yours came about and I was like this is perfect because my fans are literally going to be included in the episode without exposing anybody and so it's just like the best of both worlds and I know my viewers they love like juicy story times and stuff so it's just been such it's been so much fun and I get to have a lot of my friends on as well so it's just been a blast but the stories are crazy like <laughs> I'm like every week I'm like is this real like guys what's going on here we need to talk we need to talk one thing that I love that you do you give a lot of great advice thank you on anonymously yours no seriously it's really good advice that you give to these people and sometimes people who are like on the other <laughs> end you're like wait well, you're giving <laughs> advice to everybody so <laughs> what is some advice that you would give to somebody who wants to be like you doing everything here in LA? Um, the advice that I would give to anybody that wants to just chase their dreams and do what they're passionate about is just go for it. I mean, if you wait until somebody gives you a green light or if you wait until somebody says yes, it's gonna be too late. You just have to start chasing your dreams and start being consistent with whatever you wanna do. If you wanna do YouTube, start being consistent with uploads, start you know, finding what type of topics like interest you and stuff and don't let the people that say no or put you down like really uh, make you not motivated to be successful because honestly, everybody's always gonna have something to say. There's always going to be negative people talking crap about you there's always going to be people that are like oh she's annoying or blah 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 but you can't let those people stop you because at the end of the day you're obviously doing something right if people are talking about you 